Hey, good morning, everyone. So, uh, or I guess I should say afternoon. Uh, it's about 2.30. We have left Abel Campground to hike up to, I believe it's called Katahdin Stream Campground. That's where the ranger station is to get registered to Summit Katahdin. Uh, it's about 10 miles today, but the trail is very nice, very flat. It's a lot of pine, so it's really soft too. But once we get up there, we're actually staying at a group site called Foster Field. It's about two and a half miles of a road walk off of the AT, which is unfortunate, but at least then uh, there's a whole process to get into a campsite at the Birches that with a group our size, it just wasn't reasonable for us to, to do. So instead of doing 20 miles to get up to Katahdin, uh, we'll do 10 today, stay at the campsite, and then we'll do five miles up to Katahdin, five miles back down, and then we'll get picked up and taken into Millinocket. So very excited. We should be summoning early tomorrow morning and we will be done with the AT. Good morning. Happy summit day. I am just leaving camp right now. We got a two and a half mile road walk to get to Katahdin Streams campground. And from there it's five miles up to Katahdin. So we already registered with the ranger last night and we've got our number, our summit number. And I uh, can't believe this is it. This is today. In a couple hours, I'm gonna be atop Katahdin. And I will be done with my through hike of the Appalachian Trail during the year 2022. The uh, plan is to spend about three hours going up, uh, hang out at the summit for maybe an hour, do our photos, try to see if we can have, or if we can be there for any of our other friends that are summiting today and experience it with them. And then hopefully take somewhere between two to three hours to get back down. Uh, we should be leaving at probably around eight o'clock. So, you know, in total, I would say, you know, be down by three at the latest. And our shuttle is going to pick us up between 4 and 4.30. So, yeah, it's only 10 miles of hiking. Five up, five down. And then this two and a half mile road walk to get to the campground. Or, or to get back to the AT. But, yeah. It's, uh, I've got my head in the game. Not allowing my emotions to get the best of me. But I think once we're up top, all the hard work. All the difficult times. All the cold and the heat. And the rain and snow and everything I think it's just gonna kindly come down on me I think knowing that we'll be leaving our friends here in the next day or two people that we've spent almost every day with for the past six months hours upon hours and hanging out and I love these folks they're they're wonderful people knowing that we're all gonna go our separate ways and go back home and go back to our normal life it's it's a sad thing to think about but I know that it's a part of life and we got to keep moving got to keep going forward and I think a lot of us have changed. We've changed for the better. And when we go home, our family and our friends are gonna see that in us. The trail changes you, it really does. I just wanted to thank everyone that I've met along the way. All the trail angels, all the people that maintain and have volunteered to maintain the trail itself. Uh, all the people in town, all the people that run the hostels, all the other hikers, day section and through hikers. It's really been, uh, an awesome experience getting to see this community. Something that you don't know about until you're actually out on trail is this hiking community, especially in these small towns. It's something that I never knew about until I got out here. And I wish that more people got to experience. It's really kind of a cool, cool thing. Because all it is is walking. Or just walking. You know, walking outdoors. Not many people do it much anymore. 
And that's what creates and makes it a hobby. And that's why people enjoy it so much. It brings you back to your roots. It brings you back to what our ancestors used to have to do all the time just to get anywhere. <laughs> Sounds so dumb, but we're so privileged these days. The fact that we can just hop in a car and go to the grocery store and get our food. We don't even have to think twice about where our water is coming from. We just turn on a tap. Doing something like this really brings you back. Makes you realize how lucky we are. All right, so I think that summit up there is Katahdin. Could be wrong. All right, so far, the scramble up Katahdin has been pretty tough. I'd say one of the toughest of the entire trail. The whites definitely uh, gave us some competition though, but this has been, uh, it's been fun. It's been a fun hike so far. Difficult, but fun. That was it. We're done. I have completed my through hike of the AT. It was, uh, it was an experience. It was a really cool thing being up there. It was almost so surreal to finally be done with this thing and to be up there with such good friends that I made along this way on this journey. Uh, there's even some folks that I had started with that have hiked along for thousands of miles. I mean, since the beginning, Gypsy and Fern got engaged at the top of the mountain there at Katahdin. So it was awesome getting to be a part of that and to witness them get engaged. This has been a really, really awesome, awesome experience. I recommend it for everyone. It's sad that it's over, but I'm so happy that it was something that we, that I did and that I'm done. I'm thinking, uh, I'm gonna relax for a bit. I'm not gonna hike after today for quite a while. I need to let my feet heal, my ankle heal, my knee heal, my body to gain back the weight that I lost. It's just an incredible, incredible thing. It's, it's gonna take me a few days to process it and to really observe the emotions that I go through, but yeah. Today was a great day. All right, so made it back down from the trail. It's about a two mile road walk back to Katahdin Stream Campground where we will be picked up and taken to Millinocket at, and we'll be staying at the AT Lodge tonight. We got an Airbnb for tomorrow, so 
basically just gonna relax, hang out with everyone, do sort of a one last zero tomorrow. And then uh, from there, I'm gonna rent a car and drive to Boston. I'm gonna hang for one day and then go ahead and fly back to Texas. So this is it. This is the end of the journey. Hey, good morning, everyone. So I am in a hotel room in Boston currently. I have said my goodbyes to my trail family and I am hanging out until tomorrow morning when I fly back to Texas. Uh, this is the point where it now hits me that the trail is over and I am done. I am off trail. Uh, it was an amazing adventure and I knew that this was gonna, uh, this day would finally come. Uh, I was excited about it until now and now it is, it is very sad uh, to not be surrounded uh, by the friends that I made over the past six months, all the people that almost daily I would run into and be able to catch up with and get to know and be supported by those people around me. I do have a lot going on when I get back home. So I'm hoping that that will distract me. Um, but just already chatting with folks in my trail family, I think that they um, are feeling it also. And it is very tough uh, thing to process, just becoming reacclimated with the world, with you know cities and traffic and just everything about it. And uh, you know, lots of responsibilities, um, getting caught up on a few things that I've been pushing off. And yeah, it's. Uh, it's tough, it certainly is, uh, but it's an important part of the trail life. Um, it certainly makes me want to do the PCT or another long trail here uh, coming up in a couple months. And maybe that'll be part of my, my process of getting through this is gonna be getting excited about another hike, about uh, the future and, and uh, you know other adventures that I can go on. So hope that uh, y'all have enjoyed my blog and my adventure here on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, I'm gonna continue to post videos and to make gear review videos. I'm gonna do uh, you know, a video around the gear that I had swapped out and that I ended with my, my hike with. Uh, and then yeah, I, you know, I hope to kind of continue this channel. So uh, certainly subscribe if you're watching this and are not already subscribed. I'm hoping to put out more content and uh, also I'll go on more adventures, more trails. So thanks everyone, McConaughey out.